the source, aka Bone McDonald. He's um, he's a young lad. He helps me get through my runs. He's an unbelievable runner, one of the best runners in the country. Uh, so he definitely pushes me to the limit, and he's a bit of fresh air for me. I changed everything up. So uh, you're probably wondering why I get up and do these runs at half three, half fours in the morning. So as a fire getting complacent. I'd say would probably be one of the worst things you can do. Uh, but it's easily done in my um, position, so I do these runs every single camp three times a week to make sure that I'm doing the most I can. And I answer questions to myself about how much I want it. I ain't got to get up at this silly, silly time to do my runs and drive for 40 minutes and then drive 40 minutes back and get up early so that I can go to the gym and spa at 1, 1 30, 1 p.m. You know, it's, um, yeah, I just answer questions to myself, how bad do I want it? And it's the only way I can sort of mind myself. I do everything I can in training. I know people say you leave no stone unturned or, um, no, coffee's not open, right? You leave, we're gonna get a coffee. <laughs> No stone unturned, and I, that's that's the way I do my training camps. Every single training camp, um, you know, whether they're fighters um, who I'm fighting is world level or not, everyone has a punching chance when you're in there. Everyone. So I want to make one one fights look like one one fights. I want to make step ups look like step ups, and. You know, I don't only be having hard fights with people, I should be having hard fights with. I mean, don't get me wrong, sometimes you have a bad night in the office, but, you know, if you can help prevent that, then, then I will, do you know what I mean? But I want step ups to look like step ups, I want them to look like stepping stones, I want them to look like life or death fights. And that's what these step up fights are about. So, despite who I'm fighting, I get up and do these runs, half three, half four in the morning. Um, down South End to give me peace of mind about how, how much I want it. And if you want it as bad as you can breathe, then you'll be successful. So it's one of them ones. Probably gonna have to get out on halfway through as it happens. Shout out to Eric Thomas. He's, um, yeah, he's some guy. But, yeah, so I never question my hunger. I never question being content. I never question X, Y, Z because I put the hard yards in when no one's watching. It's easy to do something when people are watching. See, it's easy to do that. But what are you doing when no one's watching? So, and you know, I really do live by that, down to my nutrition. I've got my book where I write everything I eat down. From six weeks out of fight night, I write everything down. And, you know, no one tells me to do that, no one's watching what I'm eating, but it shows, because it's elite performance. Every Everything that I do is surrounds elite performance. From my 8 400 meter sprints yesterday, how on earth was I two seconds, my time's two seconds quicker than the last camp? How? That's, that's impossible, how, do you know what I mean? But, just get better and better and this for me will always be a thing now the day I don't want to get up at half three in the morning don't get me wrong I don't always want to get up but the day I don't get up I get out of bed get out of my silk pyjamas when you sit down and you go yeah something's not right because this is what I do it's give me peace of mind about being content I'm not content where where I'm at my career. I want to push on, I want to do I ain't got coping. I want to push on and do more. I want to push on and be better. So, you don't do these things unless uh, yeah, you want more chasing greatness. And I think that's, what's it, that's what it's about. And I'm glad it's been installed in me young for my dad to get what you want, do what you gotta do to get what you want and it's funny because I don't I don't 
don't have to work the way I do at all. I don't have to work this way. It's funny because you get criticised for being, oh yeah, silver spoon, but yeah, you choose the hardest sport in the world. What is the logic in that? Silver spoon, but I choose to do the hardest sport in the world when I don't have to do this. I don't have to do this. I could be sitting in Australia in a massive mansion, chilling. Like my other siblings. Nope. Up at half three in the morning. On my way down to South End to do my run and to pretend like I'm running down Miami, Miami South Beach. That's what I'm doing. And I'm very thankful that the Lord has treated me to dry weather. Very, very, very grateful. Thank you, baby Jesus. That's a hard run. How old was that? <coughs> it was tough, it was tough. Very tough. Started off slower than usual, but quicker than the other day. What's the goal to get a five mile in? About <coughs> 30 minutes. This, this camp probably. 30 minutes? Yeah. What did we do last camp? 31. 31 minutes. Oh, so I freshen it up. And no one's up. We're um, yeah, just finishing last five mile. Took us. <coughs> Took us 38 minutes, 37 minutes. But to be fair, we did start at four in the morning. Bo plays a, a big part in, in the camp. It's gone from just running to then strength and conditioning. We do our strength and conditioning together. But I mean, you don't lift the weights, I lift here. I have to show them how the big boys do it sometimes. You know, let them know. But we, um, yeah, we do it since seats together with our coach, Dan Lawrence, Form 365. And the reason why I run with Bo is he really pushes me, as you can see on the last stretch. Um, he really, um, yeah, really is pushing it hard and uh, a bit of fresh air, do you know what I mean? He's one of the best runners in the country, so it's such a blessing to, you know, have him here, hands on, up with me at four in the morning, and then also has to go to school. So he's just, yeah, he, um, whatever pushes you. And there's no way. I'm gonna let a kid beat me. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see? Yeah. I can see that fighting tool. It's that fighting tool. He thinks because he's almost the same height as me, he can add me on, didn't you? In a race, maybe not boxing. Right? Maybe not boxing, do you hear that? I do not boxing. Maybe right? not, boxing. not boxing. What do you reckon running with a destroyer? What's your thoughts? It's alright. It's <laughs> but it's Is good. that all you've got to say? No, once you're out, yeah, I'll make him laugh a bit, so. <laughs> <laughs> it does make me laugh a bit, but I'm glad I make you laugh too, bro. It's just, you know, that was what I was waiting for, but I mean, since it's hard to get out of bed in the morning and I've got school, and yeah. you don't seem too happy about running with a destroyer, though. Yeah, of course, um, it's exposure. I've gained like 10,000 followers. <laughs> Here I am on a sentimental one, and he's like, oh, yeah, you know, I gained exposure. Do you know what? Thank you, bro. Are you, I take it you're walking home then? I run for a club called South End AC. As well as doing my running with uh, Adam Hickey's with GB run-ons, etc. Uh, but I run mainly like four times a week. And Tell him what your quickest 5k time is. It's 16.24. Disgusting. 
disgusting. Quickest I've ever done 5k was, I think it was either early early 19s, huh? 19. Was it 19? Yeah. It was 1856. Is it not? <laughs> Is it not? Oh no. No, it won't. We've never done a 5k. We went in the five miles. We could hit about, I reckon, low 18s. Go after burn. So I hit low 18s before. High 18s. It's not me. Not you. You slowed me down, probably. No, I was picking you up. You just slowed down. Yeah, fine. Then, I just smoked you, mate. Yeah, but I'll. Ooh. No, don't give me all that. I smoked there, you, so mate. I smoked you like a Cuban cigar. Okay. Well, puff, puff. Smoke you at 5k. It done that. Well, run's done now. And I'm not a 5k oh. runner. It's not. It's I'm not. A, it's not a, a sprint. It's a marathon. marathon. Do you it's understand? Not, it's not a marathon. No. It, do you not understand the moral? It's life. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. I'm a 12 round fighter. I'm not a 4 round fighter. True. Well done. You run that one. Thank you, mate. I won that one. Do you hear that? Go and set again for the camera. No, no, no. Go and set it for the record. I won that one. Nah. <laughs> <laughs>